Welcome everybody. Today we're going to take a look at our Product Inquiry Professional plugin for WooCommerce. It's a super powerful tool that helps you easily add inquiry forms to your product pages so that your shoppers can ask you questions about your products. When you use a tool like this, you make it much easier for shoppers to ask questions without having to look around on your site to find a way to contact you because every product on your site has an inquiry form right on the product page. Giving your shoppers an easy way to contact you fast can really help increase your sales. Some of the features of this plugin include, it's very easy to use first of all, you can create as many unique inquiry forms as you need using an easy drag and drop form creator. You can assign one form to all your products or different forms to different products. You can disable forms for a specific product when you don't need an inquiry form on the product page. You can make any form field required or optional. You can choose to position your form as a new tab in your product pages or as a button if you prefer that when clicked reveals the form to the shopper. And you can use conditional logic to build dynamic forms if you want to, which I'll show you during the course of this video. The plugin also includes anti-spammer defenses that help prevent spammer robots from submitting the form automatically on your site and overrunning your inbox. To start, let's have a quick look at an example form of what the can, plugin can do right out of the box when you first install it and activate it. So when you first install and activate this plugin, it creates this general inquiry form that you see here and it's the default form for all your products unless you make a different form and assign it to different products. When you view a product with the default form and the default configuration which is to present the form in a tab, you'll see here as shown on this example product page there's a new tab which is labeled questions by default. You can change this label to whatever you'd like and when a shopper clicks this tab it reveals the form and you can see here there's a name field, an email field, and a message field, and a submit button. You can change all these labels to whatever you'd like. Um, you can add and remove form fields which I'll show you later and um, when you try and submit the form without entering data in a required field you can see that it throws an error. For example the email field is required and if I just type something in here, you'll see that I have not entered a valid email address and the plugin is telling me that. But if I go ahead and do that, then the message goes away. Let's say I forget to fill out the message field and I click the button. Well, I see a message. This field is required. And if I just go ahead and enter that something into the field and send it, then the message box is cleared, the email and name fields are not, that's for the convenience of your shopper if they want to ask another question. And then they see a message, inquiry successfully sent, we'll get back to you shortly. So that's the basic inquiry form. You can create, as I showed you, we have two forms here, I've created a different form that has some additional fields beyond the regular fields, this one includes a CAPTCHA driven by Google's reCAPTCHA anti-spam software and it has a couple of HTML information boxes and a topic field and I'll show you how these work. Uh, so if we view this product, well, let me go back a bit. When I'm editing the product I have a new set settings area here, inquiry forms. And when I click that, it reveals these settings. Here, I can disable the form if I want to, so no inquiry form shows on the product page. Or I can optionally select a different form to use rather than the general default. And here, I can just say use a global default or choose a specific form. In this case, I'm choosing form with a topic because that was a custom form I built for purposes of this demo. And then when I view this product page, I see that I have chosen to put this inquiry form in the page with a button which is a different setting here in the form settings area. I can choose where I want this after add to cart button, before add to cart button, or in a tab. 
In this case, just for purposes of demonstration, I selected after add to cart button. And you can see that it shows here. And when I click this button, it reveals the form. And here you can see I have name, email, topic, message, and Google's reCAPTCHA that helps prevent spammers from submitting the form. So if I just go ahead and fill this form in again, you can see here I have a topic and a message to choose from and both are required. There's no topic selected by default because that's the way I set up the form. And if I choose pre-sales, I see this little message appear. And if I choose general, the message goes away. And if I choose support, I see a different message here telling people how to get support faster. This is driven by the conditional logic that you can use in the plugin to hide and show fields based on a user selection. So that gives you a brief overview of how that logic works. You don't have to use it, but it's a very powerful aspect of this plugin that helps you build dynamic forms. And here you can see, I'm just going to write test again. And I'm not going to check that box. I'm just going to s click that button to send it. And it says, please re-examine the anti-spam field. So it's required. And this is the way Google's new reCAPTCHA service works. When I check this box, it pops up a, a message asking me to select all images with balloons. Well, this, me this display and this message varies every time I use this. But in this example, apparently, it's asking me to find balloons. So I check this, and I check this, and I check this, because none of the other ones are balloons, and click Verify. And I see a green check mark because it's verified that I've selected the correct images that represent balloons. So this, this is a capability of the plugin. It's built in. You sign up for Google's reCAPTCHA service, and you can use it for free after you sign up. So then, again, I'm just going to send this form, and the form disappears. And in this case, because the question button makes it appear. So submitting it makes it disappear. You click it again, the form will reappear. And I see the success message. If I want to send another message, I just click the form again and write another message and go through the steps and send it. So that's a brief overview of how this plugin works. And we really hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions, as always, you can call us at 888-434-8388 anytime between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Central Time. Or you can use the contact form on our website to send us a message that way. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.